We see with our hearts and love with our eyes. In a 2020 prison, lusting over a prize. Fighter in disguise, desperate for the will to survive. What's going on, yo? Mad Dad is back in this Mad Den. Here to talk about Mad Den. And yes, I got a fresh haircut today. So we're feeling pretty good. Thank you all for watching this video. Happy Thursday. Thank you all for stopping by. You know, come join the madness as always. And if you're new to the madness, please make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Come permanently be part of the madness. Hit that notification bell so you can come join the madness whenever the madness is released. The Mad Dad Madness will run wild in 2020. And we're starting off now. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your constant support. Let's make sure this we're on the road to a thousand subs. Let's do it. Come on, we can do it together. Thank y'all. So anyway, guys, no new content in the game today as Zero Chill is winding down. I do believe Zero Chill was a very good promo, had a lot of good things to offer, a lot of great new cards in the game. As I did touch on yesterday, we got some great Redskins coming in the game for my personal team, theme team. That's, you know, Bruce Smith. We got the Deshaun Jackson. We got the Scaritary. And uh, we got the Sean Taylor, obviously. So it was definitely a great promo for that. Not to mention great, you know, people who, who need a position upgrades in the game. Khalil Mack. You know, we got that Julio. You know, we got a lot of good cards in the game. The Gronk. A lot of good cards in the game, guys. It came through that we all really wanted and we all, all really needed. So, the question remains. Playoff promo. And as um, our man uh, Farrells did say this morning, Saturday is a tentative release date. Hopefully to get some teasers tomorrow, but we don't know. There's nobody in the office, so things could go wrong between now and then. So I wouldn't count on it, but just plan on possibly Saturday getting the playoff promo release. And for those of you that don't know, the playoff promo has um, basically what it is is all 12 teams have made the playoffs. They get around, I'd say around six cards each. I believe it's uh, about five, um, five lower end from, you know, ranging anywhere from 83s up to I think 91 or 92s. And you put those in a set, get a 95 master. And then the AFC usually has a master and the NFC usually has a master, one being offense, one being defense. So there's gonna be a total of probably 12 masters, one per team, or, or bosses, I should call them. 12 bosses, one per team, and then two masters, one which will require each six bosses that you'll get back nat. Kind of like, you guys know the formula. So, a lot of people have been speculating. I know Xerxes put out a video today that's predicting those bosses. He had people on there like Stefan Gilmore, who I think all of us know needs to get a card. Mark Ingram. He threw people out there like Travis Kelsey. He threw people out there like, um, who was it, uh, Kevin Byard. He threw people out there like uh, Josh Allen and uh, uh, Teran Matthew um, on, on, on the Saints. On the Saints, on the NFC, I call them the Saints. He threw out Michael Thomas, you know, Drew Brees possibilities, Aaron Jones, um, Drew, um, Aaron Rodgers, uh, Devontae Adams. You know, we got um, the Eagles out there. They probably need the, the, the most upgrades, you know, on that team. But now nah, they got probably Fletcher Cox because he threw out on them. Um, a lot of those play people I agree with. I went there and reinvent the wheel and try to say a lot of things that he did not get. Seahawks, I think he threw Andre Diggs, Bobby Wagner in the mix there. Um, well, what other teams are there? I'm dropping a blank here. Uh, the Vikings, he threw Kirk Cousins, possibly Danelle Hunter in there. Uh, 49ers, he threw um, Fred Warner, as well as, um, was it Fred Warner he threw out there? And D Ford, or the two ones he threw out there for that. So, um, I don't know if I'm missing any teams right now. I think I hit all of them. But, um, yeah, those are some great cards that should be coming to the game right now. Um, so, what to do to make some coins? How can you make this work for you? There's going to be a lot more Team of the Year promos right around the corner. Um, you know, Playoff Masters are going to be legends. And last year, they had Steve Smith and I think Willie McGinnis. So, this year, I can see very well Steve Smith or a Julius Peppers or, a, you know, one of these great cards we've been waiting for, a Franco Harris possibly cards that we need to get um, hopefully will be coming to this game so what can you do right now to help you know build your team build some coins now a lot of people it depends on how many coins you have to start with right now if you got zero coins no training right now you're just gonna have to grind but you just got to go out there and grind hit some solos hit some farms hopefully just wait for your weekend league rewards next week as, and as a reminder monthly rewards do come out next week 
And as we can see here, um, they did they did adjust the wins. As Kralo did point out a few weeks ago on Twitter, thank you to Tone for hitting me up with that. Because I, I hadn't even seen... Oh, wait, I hit the wrong one. I hadn't even seen... I, I hadn't seen it, but I didn't think that they had adjusted it yet. But they already had adjusted it. So I already have 57 wins. And to get to Legend, you only need 67. So you only need 10 more wins to get to Legend, which is the highest tier, which is freaking... I've never gotten Legend rewards. So four wins gets me an MVP and 10 gets me that. So see what tier you're at, guys. You know, which, what I'm stuck at is if you go look at these um, rewards here, they haven't changed the names from last year. But ultimate being the, um, would be the legend and then the, this one, those are the two top two or the other top two I'm talking about. As you see here, you get 2,400 training and 1,200 training are the differences, but you get two packs for the elite level, which they're calling, I we call all-star, I believe. All-Star, you get two 83 plus packs. In Ultimate you, or Legend, you only get one um, pack. So I, I think it's better almost to get the two chances at the higher card, even though one's going to probably be, you know, higher cards. But it's up to you. I'm definitely going to probably get the 10 wins, I hope, so I get the Legend. I've never got Legend rewards before, but that, that's just going to be, you know, just interesting to look at how you get two packs versus one pack. But anyway, a battle for another day. So, you know, other ways to get coins right now, guys, if you do have some coins and you want to make investments, any of the cards I just talked about, Aaron Rodgers is going to get an update pretty soon. Buy his cards as much as you can, his power-ups and his elite, his core elites, any of those cards will get a little spike in price. Um, Drew Brees is going to get a card pretty soon. Um, Demarcus Lawrence is going to get a card pretty soon. Stephon Gilmore is going to get a card pretty soon. Uh, like I said, Mark Ingram, all those guys, if they don't get a card... Um, in the playoff promo, they're gonna get a card pretty soon, so invest in these cards. Also, training is at an all time low right now, guys. Go over here to training. If you guys, for those slow grinders, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still say 87s, I think, are the best buy. I was getting these for 15k the other day, 15k, which is around eight coins per eight coins per. Now you want to go, I think it's the flashbacks and heavyweights are the cheapest ones. They're, oh, they're gone up a little bit. Uh, they've got, market's starting to go back up now, you can tell. I was getting these 87s for 16 per. The market is slowly starting to rise back up. So, let me see what those 90s are at now. 90s are already back up to 70s, and 90s were down to 50k yesterday. So the market is slowly starting to recover from this craziness, madness. Probably will go down again this weekend. But dang, yeah. So the best thing to do right now, I guess the market's starting to go up, is if you invest in smaller cards. And, you know, hopefully they're going to be buying up. Do not sell anything right now. I do believe the market will go back up just a little bit. So as far as making coins right now, guys, if you have training left over, a good tip to make training uh, to make turn your tr uh, training into coins always it's fine I have a, 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 a training point spreadsheet down below is buy these playbooks right here the defensive playbooks uh, 150 you usually can get around five to six K depending on your um depending on who you get for these and that's 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 usually that's around 25 coins per so if, it, so if you're following my spreadsheet and you're getting anything around 10 to 12 coins per you're doubling your money on these playbooks so this is a great little hustle. You can buy 20 of them, play some games, come back, buy 20 more. You know, that's 3,000 tra you're training, you're investing each time. And you're gonna get 20 playbooks. You're gonna make 100,000 coins off of 3,000 training. You know, you, you can get 3,000 training for basically around uh, 40K maybe. So that's all I'm gonna say right now. That's the best way, in my opinion, to make coins right now, especially for those low uh, people that don't have a lot of coins. If you do have a lot of coins right now, I'm gonna tell you what to invest in right now because the kindling is going to turn to uh, is gonna change to, to training pretty soon. I'm assuming tomorrow. Let me get out of here. What am I gonna do the auction block? Let me just go to my item buyer because I have a ton of them as well. These 94s and 95s are super super low. Let me see here. Uh, there we go. What am I doing here? Let's go back to the auction house here. I'm just making a mess of myself, making a mess of my thoughts, making a mess of your time. But anyway, if you go to the auction house here, 
La da da da. Here we go. These 90s of zero chill. We just checked the prices. You need to see that. 58k for a 90. You just saw me check the prices of the of the other ones. They're already back up to 70. So when these change to training uh, from from quick selling for kindling, you're gonna get you're gonna gain coins on all these. So invest in these. I would invest in the 92s and 93s, depending on how many you have. If they're still around 100k. Invest in this. This is gonna definitely shoot back up. These Christian McCaffrey's, these um, Jason Kelsey's are gonna shoot back up, guys. I mean, 240 is what they're going for right now. So, if you can get under two, invest in these. You're going to make yourself some coins. Again, not a whole lot, but your coins are just sitting there. Might as well have them make money for you anyway. But other than that, guys, that's what I'm doing. About to jump in some weekend league here on stream here in a while. Uh, tonight, actually. I'm going to jump on my playoff here in a while on stream. So, if you guys are watching this and you haven't noticed already, I'm on stream. My Twitch, Twitter down below. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for joining the madness. Mad Dad is out.